Hello and welcome to a Horizon Production tutorial in 3ds Max. Uh, going through some reactor stuff, which is quite cool. You can a lot to fill around with. Uh, here's what we'll be trying to create, which I made earlier. So I've added textures. I've added a skylight. It looks quite fairly realistic. The physics looks quite realistic. So to get started. In our create tab on the geometry, create a plane in the top view uh, 200 by 200, no, 220, 220. And then in the perspective view, hold alt, middle, mouse button to drag around. You can rotate the camera view so it's in a similar position to mine. Then we want to create our boxes. I'm going to do it, if you zoom in on the top view, about 2 by one So that's about um, 10 length, 20 width, 8 height. And then we want to duplicate those so we can hold shift and then click and drag along the x-axis. And then we'll come up with this panel, clone, and then number of copies, one of the five. So now we get a, a whole string of boxes. Then in the top view, select three of them. And in the front view, drag them up and then drag them along. So they're slightly shifted to one side. And before you go any further, make sure the bottom layer of boxes isn't actually touching the floor, otherwise it won't go very well. And then also make sure these boxes aren't touching the next layer. So moving them down, zooming in. And now I want to highlight the bottom layer in our front view. Hold shift again, drag up the Y axis. So we create another wall. We just click OK and then that should be enough layers for now and now we want to create our sphere go into our create tab sphere in the top you create a ball about the similar height to the um, boxes perhaps maybe smaller I'm gonna do 12 radius and move it so it's just hovering above the plane. Next, we want to animate our sphere. So hit Auto key, make sure on the zero frame, and then drag along to the 50th frame. In our top view on the y-axis, drag it along till it's about just the front of it is just touching the end, edge of the screen, and then hit E and then rotate along the x-axis until at the bottom here you can see it gets to around 300 and then take off also here and you can see got a pretty decent um, ball rolling we can adjust the rotation later so you can see that looks quite decent you can see the cube around it rotating it gives you an idea so that's looking fairly good. Now I want to make it so that all of the objects are part of the scene. So at the top, if we haven't got this toolbar, go customize, show UI, show floating toolbars. We want this reactor toolbar, so delete all the rest of them until we're just left with this one. You can drag it to the side. I prefer to have it there, it just makes it easier and then click on the create rigid body collection and then place it anywhere and then in the modify tab hit add and then control A still holding control click R B collection we don't want that in our scene and so we've got all our objects now we want to assign properties to each of them so Max knows what it's going to do with each of them. So while selecting the plane, go up to Open Property Editor, 
and click concave mesh and inactive and friction elasticity ought to be zero friction we can go up to three we can change it around later see what it does then whilst highlighting our boxes we want the mass to be one elasticity to be zero we want to highlight an active and mesh concave convex hole now for our sphere mass 6 friction same as the floor elasticity 0 and unyielding because we want it to know that we we want it to use our animation so unyielding is a necessity and then mesh convex hole going back to the um, boxes uh, friction back up to 3 so we just want to see what that does we can change things around later just just see what it does for now and just hit P to play so that's obviously way too much uh, almost explodes